Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Erica. In this video, I will demonstrate how Yara can be used to identify and classify malware samples. Yara is a command line tool that was designed to search for files and binaries matching specific patterns. I'll show you some examples. This is a Yara rule designed to identify only DLL files. The search was performed against this folder and its subfolders. Upon execution, we can see the DLL files that have been identified. This rule identifies the files and binaries that contain the word Java. It was executed against the downloads folder. These are the list of files containing the word Java. Now, I will tell you how Yara helps to identify and classify malware samples. Let's assume that a malware sample has been identified on a system. The first step is to confirm if a similar sample has been observed before. This can be done by identifying unique patterns observed in the sample, developing a Yara rule using those patterns, and running it across a malware dataset. This rule can also be executed across other machines on the network, to confirm if the sample has infected other systems. A remote access trojan or a rat has been identified on a network. Malware authors sometimes reuse code across multiple versions of the same binary. It is possible for the same sequence of imports and functions to be reused in the source code. In that case, the mfash or hash value of the imported functions will be the same across all the samples. This rule searches for other samples in the malware dataset using the same mfash. Once the rule was executed, we can see that two files have been identified that use the same sequence of imported functions. It is highly likely that both the samples belong to the same malware family. Let's talk about another sample. A Trojan was observed on a network. Here is a rule that searches for similar samples having at least three of the strings listed here. Upon execution, the rule identified another similar sample in the dataset. Do you want to know how these rules were constructed? Use static analysis tools like PE Studio to retrieve information about a sample. In some cases, you will find unique strings. But within the binary, the string may exist with a space between each character. This can be confirmed by viewing the binary in a hex editor application. To search for a specific string, you can use the hex representation in your rule. To know more about how the information presented by PE Studio can be interpreted, follow along with another video on our channel. To know more about how Yara rules can be written, I invite you to read these articles in our library. You can find the links to them in the description box below. A set of rules can be compiled into a single rule and executed against a dataset. I have compiled these two rules in this file. We can see that the compiled rule successfully identifies four samples, two identified by the first rule, and two identified by the second. If you suspect that you may be victim to a newly identified malware, you can use information already discovered by the community to build a custom rule. On a network, you can schedule a rule to run at a specific time across all the machines. Before you deploy or share a rule, make sure that you test it extensively against a large dataset to validate that the rule works as expected. You can develop rules not just for PE files, but for binaries in any format, and even files like Office documents, PDF documents, and memory dumps. I hope you have a good idea now about how Yara rules can be used to identify and classify malware samples. Here is a project idea for you. Set up a virtual machine and create a malware dataset on it. Pick one malware sample. Write a Yara rule for it. Run your Yara rule against the malware dataset to identify other similar samples. 
make some changes to your rule, and run it against the dataset again. Practice using the different modules available. With enough experience, once you work in the field, you will be able to use Yara effortlessly to identify and classify malware samples. If you like this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!